Well, hey there, everybody. It's your old Papa Cheddar here. And today we're going to be talking about something that is very, very near and dear to my heart. And what are we talking about exactly? Well, cheese, of course. So for starters, obviously cheese comes from milk and milk comes from these ewes. You're going to need at least a generation two ewe to collect any of the milk. And of course, to get the milk, you're going to need a bucket. So all you got to do is you take your bucket in hand. You go up to your beautiful little ewe here and you right click with the bucket. Go get a nice little sound prompt and see that animation. Then you should be left with a bucket full of milk. Now it'll fill up the whole 10 liters of the bucket. Now there are some factors that could make the ewes not produce milk. And it'll show up top in the tool tip if they're feeling stressed or something like that. So, you know, just uh, give them some extra food, plant some flowers near them. Go give them some nice good pets, maybe brush their fur. Not with a sword, of course. <laughs> and let's go over the rest of the items you're going to need. So you'll need some salt, some linen, some sticks, some beeswax, some pickled vegetables. I have onions here, but any pickled vegetables will work. Of course, the buckets and your barrels. So once you have your milk in hand, you're going to put it into the barrel here. And it is definitely recommended to fill up the entire 50 liters of the barrel with milk. At the very bare minimum, do 25 liters. So we're simply going to take our pickled vegetables, pop them in the slot there. And it's a 1 to 25 ratio for the pickled vegetables. And as you can see here, it takes about three days of sealing time to get on to the next step. And once it is done pickling in the barrel, it will be good for about eight days. Now, once you've pickled your milk, you're going to have curdled milk inside of the barrel. And what you're going to do after this is take some salt and it's going to be a one to 10 ratio of salt. So we have 50 liters here and we'll have to throw in five salt into the barrel. Now this is going to take 24 hours of sealing time. And once you have successfully salted this curdle milk, it'll stay fresh for 20 days in the barrel. After the 24 hour sealing time, you're going to be left with cottage cheese. So with the 50 liters here, we should be able to make two cheese rolls. So we're going to take the linen in our right hand. We're going to crouch and right click. And that will leave us with a curd bundle. And of course, since we had the 50 liters, we have two curd bundles here. So you place those on the ground, you get the sticks in your hand, and then you just right click over the curd bundle. And you'll see this nice fancy little twisting motion. And then boom, you have it there with the, uh, the new cheese. And once you get to the end of the twisting motion, you can go ahead and just let go. That means you've wrung out all the liquid. And if you didn't hold it down the whole time, then you just right click it once again to reveal the cheese. Now we're going to need to turn this into raw salted cheese. So you just get some salt in your hand and it takes five for each cheese bundle. Then you can go ahead and pick these bad boys up. Now the next step is going to be to place it on the shelf. Another thing you can do is turn this into wax cheese. So all you're going to do is put your raw salted cheese wheel in your crafting menu with some beeswax and that will create you the raw cheese wax. So in the wax form, the cheese will stay a whole lot longer. So now we go down into the cellar. Before we begin with the entire barreling process, I would recommend you put your barrels in the cellar as well, especially if you're playing on a multiplayer server where, where time will constantly be going by even when you're not playing because the milk and the cottage cheese and all these other steps, they will rot very quickly if you are offline for you know even half a day, let's say. So I definitely recommend putting the barrels in, in your cellar throughout this entire evolution. All right, so we got our wax cheese. Now we're just gonna go ahead and pop these bad boys onto the shelf. This step will take 14 to 20 days for it to turn into cheddar cheese, and that is depending on the climate that you're in. Once this has become cheddar cheese, it will stay good for 1.2 years outside of a cellar, or if you waxed your cheese, it will be 2.5 years outside of a cellar. And of course, inside the cellar, it'll last a whole heck of a lot longer. And that was for cheddar cheese, but what about blue cheese? Well, with blue cheese, you're going to need to age it in a cellar that has a light level that is less than two. And you're also going to need to have a unblocked hole in your cellar as well. So you may end up with a cellar corridor looking something like this. As you can see, the little kink, the little zigzag right there in the corridor, that will be sufficient to keep all of the light out. And if you're worried about things going into your cellar, you can simply just place a gate instead of a door, and that will leave you the one unblocked hole that you need to create the blue cheese and blue cheese will stay for 1.6 years outside of the cellar, and it will also take the 14 to 20 days, of course, depending on the climate that you're in. Oh, you want to eat some cheese, do you? Oh, buddy, well, me too. So how are we going to do that? Well, all you got to do is you got to place your cheese on the ground here. Get yourself a knife. 
right click it, and then you see you're gonna be chopping it up into little pieces. Simple as that. Now each cheddar cheese slice will give you 240 satiety, and each blue cheese slice will give you 200 satiety. So the blue cheese lasts a little bit longer, unless of course you waxed your cheddar cheese, and uh, the cheddar cheese will give you more satiety per chunk, but really just make whichever cheese most, uh, most appeals to you. Now, of course, since I'm Papa Cheddar, you know I'm gonna be making that cheddar cheese. That's like beating the final boss in this game for your old pop. Ha ha! So making cheese is a little bit of a long drawn out process, but it's really not that difficult once you break it down into different steps. So I hope you guys enjoy making yourself some cheese. And every time you do, when you take a bite of that nice delicious cheddar, I hope you think of your old Papa Cheddar. And go out there and make some cheddar cheese so sharp it'll cut your tongue. Yo! Ooh, that cuts. I'm bleeding. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, I love you. Bye.